So far, whenever we've wanted to make a unit conversion, we've known how many of the smaller unit it took to make up the larger unit. But what if we don't? Let me give you an example of a place where we might actually want to do a conversion like this. Suppose your chocolate chip cookie recipe calls for two teaspoons of vanilla extract per batch. You bake a lot. You're an avid baker, so you go out and buy a one-quart bottle of vanilla extract. And you want to know how many batches of cookies you're going to be able to make using that one-quart bottle. Now, you know that this is a job for division, right? You know that you want to take the number of teaspoons in the bottle divided by two teaspoons per batch to get the number of batches. So you just need to say, how many teaspoons are there in one quart? So you go out and you look up some conversion factors, and you can't find it. This is what you can find. You can find that one quart equals four cups, and that one cup equals 48 teaspoons. But you can't find how many teaspoons in a quart. Good news. You can do what's called a two-step conversion in order to go from quarts to cups and then cups to teaspoons. Here's how this works. You start off with one quart over one. And now we're going to set up a conversion factor. What we wish we could do is just have quarts in the denominator and teaspoons in the numerator. But we can't do that. We don't have that information available. So instead, we're going to set up two conversion factors. Quarts are in the denominator of the first one, so they'll cancel out. Teaspoons are in the numerator of the second one, and then we'll have the same unit in the first numerator and the second denominator. Where are we going to come up with that unit? Well, we know that one quart is four cups, and that one cup is 48 teaspoons. So because we know the relationship between quarts and cups, and we know the relationship between cups and teaspoons, by converting to cups in between, we're easily able to convert from quarts to teaspoons. Okay, now I see that the units cancel out exactly the way that I would want. I'll have just teaspoons in the numerator, nothing in the denominator in my answer. In my numerator, I'll have 1 times 4 times 48. In my denominator, I'll just have 1. I can use a calculator now if I'd like. And I get 192 teaspoons. So to answer my original question about the cookies then, I have 192 teaspoons divided by 2 teaspoons per batch. And again, I can use the calculator if I'd like. I get 96 batches. That's a lot of cookies. That's a lot of vanilla extract. Let's see another example. Suppose you know that a snail moves at 30 inches per minute. And you want to know how many minutes does it take the snail to inch its way a quarter of a mile across campus. Again, you know you want to use the formula distance equals rate times time. 
you know the rate is 30 inches per minute. But in order to use that rate, you need to have the distance in inches. OK. But now we look it up, and we can't really find out how many inches there are in a mile. We look it up, and we find out that one mile is 5,280 feet. And of course, one foot is 12 inches. But we can't find one mile equals how many inches. Again, that's OK. We can use a two-step conversion. So we start with a quarter mile, and then multiply that by a conversion factor with miles in the denominator, and then another conversion factor with inches in the numerator. We know how both of those units relate to feet, so we'll put feet in this numerator, feet in this denominator. Okay, so one mile is 5,280 feet. One foot is 12 inches. Miles will cancel, feet will cancel, and we'll be left with just inches. How many? One fourth times 5280 times 12 inches, and just one in the denominator. So we work out 1 fourth times 5280 times 12, and we get 15,840. So a quarter mile is 15,840 inches. OK. We're expecting our answer to be a really big number, right? Our 15,840 equals the rate 30 times the time. Well, we know to divide both sides by 30. And we'll get that the time is, let's see, this number divided by 30 is 528 minutes. And that's it. We're done. It takes 528 minutes.